Hello, my name is Sarah Wager and I'm a practicing traditional healer in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. And I'm currently initiating and involved in a project, a community project, to create a Zulu healing center where we use the traditional practices and Zulu practices to heal the people. At the moment, it's estimated that around about 80,000 people in KwaZulu-Natal come to the traditional healers for treatments for their ailments. So the work that we do is actually a really big part of the healthcare of South Africa and KwaZulu-Natal. We cannot get funding easily. So here we are asking you guys, please, will you help us to fund this project? My name is Muvo Ngobo. I live in South Africa in KZN, KwaZulu-Natal. The project is all about empowering the people, especially at the rural areas. And also on the healing level, there's uh, a lot of healing that needs to be done with people. Uh, just in general, uh, uh, family problems, uh, even health uh, itself, uh, mostly health. And also helping the younger people to find direction without having to go uh, change their ways uh, or who they are or who, where they come from. One of the things that has inspired um, both of us in terms of me and my cousin Lobo in working on this project and the Healing Center is that we have um, Nelson Mandela who just shines as a shining example for us and has constantly told us that South Africa can be a united nation and needs to support itself and support one another. And this is what we're also trying to do in terms of his legacy and what he leaves behind is to follow his footsteps and create something that unites us and unites our cultures and our traditions. Another thing is that we have to build. That's where the funds, the project uh, needs help from you guys. Anyone out there who wishes to uh, contribute in this, it will be great and will, will be very helpful uh, because we need to build. We need to build in a traditional way, but it's, it still requires a lot of material, uh, materials and um, also we want to make sure that everything we do and, and build is uh, self-sustainable and uh, there's less, if not any, impact on the land. Uh, all of those things that uh, are making uh, our mother earth uh, be alive and sustain us and carry on having us on her and uh, spread the love um, of, uh, about her. If you donate or help to fund this project, you will be helping us to achieve building structures such as huts and accommodation for people that come to retreat or come for treatment in the centre that we're creating. You will be helping us to put in sustainable building practices such as compost toilets, um, good water sources that don't pollute the environment and help us to teach those skills to the community, to the Zulu community so that they can also apply it in their own homes and realise that they don't have to rely on systems that come from outside such as government to be able to have clean water, a way to grow food and ultimately a way to have power. We are going to create sustainable power um, and we're looking into various practices that will be suitable for the area that we're going into. Your funding will also support the community in the sense of labour, in the sense of the people helping us build. We will source all the labour from the local community, none of it will be from outside. So you will be helping to support them in that way. You will also be helping to get the message out to help us further and um, allow for us to create a space where people even like you who are overseas or wherever you're from can come and visit and retreat and interact and really experience the Zulu people and the Zulu community and the Zulu come to the retreat center, <coughs> you'll be accommodated in uh, Rondovo which is a traditional way of building here in South Africa. Um, it's basically uh, mud bricks that are built and made from scratch by the community, by us. And uh, some of the buildings, they are made up, built, built out of water and dope. 
Uh, all these uh, techniques, they help the people to remember because that kind of structure does not need too much heating uh, because it does that itself uh, when it's hot. As you all know here in South Africa, which is part of Africa, it's very hot. It cools itself down automatically, it just does that. So we, uh, we will be happy to have you come in the future and be accommodated into in, in this kind of building and in this kind of environment. We also have very clean running water, even river water where we are is very clean. And uh, most importantly, where it's not clean, uh, we are doing this whole project to teach along those lines too how to take care of these rivers, the water, the land itself. Um, so you will have a lot to learn also uh, anywhere you are in the world uh, participating in this. Uh, you will have a lot of uh, experience uh, by the time you leave. So everybody will be contributing, uh, sharing stories, letting each other feel uh, how it's like to work together as a community. The vision <clears throat> that we have for people when they come and visit us at the Healing Centre and the retreat is that you should be able to come and experience the Zulu people, the Zulu culture, the land, the environment and the spiritual traditions. At the moment these things are not supported the way that they should be in South Africa. There is not the valuing and the reverence that there should be for those traditions and so when you come and you come and you experience or if you fund or contribute to the funding of this project you will be making what is really valuable accessible to South Africa to the people in South Africa you will be uplifting community but also you will be making it accessible to people who are overseas who want to come and experience here in South Africa itself and in KwaZulu Natal what is the Zulu people? What is the Zulu tradition? What is Zulu spirituality? What is Zulu culture? And it will be done honorably and sustainably and with the community who want to be able to show what they have, what their culture is about, what their traditions are about, what their history is about. And we need all of this to be valued. We need this to be contributing to the rest of the world and not something that is just stuck away in a box or a museum as if it doesn't exist anymore because it still exists. It's still here in South Africa. It's still here in KwaZulu-Natal. And this is what you'll be supporting by funding, but not only funding, but when you come and choose to have an experience with us in KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa. And we really hope to see you here. We would like to say thank you, thank you. so much for thank your you. support and any funding that you give us. In the Zulu tradition, there are lots of songs that we sing to say thank you, and we'd like to sing one of them now. Of course. Okay. Bye, Bye, Buy a bonga, buy a a bonga, buy 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 a b